Eastern celebrations in Tigray were one of the most festive. Markets used to be ablaze with people wanting to buy presents for family and friends. The preparations were extensive and done with the hope of creating new and happy memories with loved ones. This is Mabra Kaftom. She owns a traditional clothes shop in Makali. She says Eastern holiday is nothing like those that came before it. I have no words to express the impacts of the siege. People have nothing to eat these days. How could we possibly expect them to care about what they wear? This is a difficult time. Everything about my job just makes me hate myself. We're not opening the shop so we can sell clothes. We come here because staying home is just too stressful. No one cares about the things we sell here anymore. Mevrak says before the siege, not only she have a lot of customers, but she had also employed many tailors and decorators that are now out of work. <laughs> Around this time of a year, it would have been impossible to find a place to stand in this shop. We had so many customers, not to mention our many employees. What makes me feel worse is the condition of the tailors and decorators and their families, who are now suffering because they lost their jobs. There were at least 30 people that depended on this little shop. Mebrak says, unlike most Eastern holidays this year, she only prayed for peace. I don't expect to sell clothes. I just long for peace, so that who have been separated due to the war could find one another again, so life becomes normal for everyone again. The siege has been so harsh, especially for those suffering from illnesses and those who are starving. For many in Tigray, this Eastern holiday will not be different than the past 10 months of the siege that has been seen Tigrayan severed from the world unable to access basics such as food aid or medical supplies.